Carbohydrates, friend or foe? There's a general belief that we can't eat carbohydrates if we're trying to lose weight. And there's definitely some truth in that because of the insulin response. Uh, go see the last video. However, carbohydrates aren't necessarily the devil. Um, definitely going low carb can help a great many people if they're trying to shift their body composition and become leaner. But it really depends on that person and their activity level. I am, what I'm meaning is carbohydrates have to have somewhere to go, okay? So carbohydrates, you eat them, um, enter the blood as blood sugar. Um, now the body can transport that blood sugar. And if those carbohydrates are needed for immediate energy, then great, they'll go off and they'll be used for immediate energy. They'll be transporting blood, go to the working muscle and all is well in the world. Um, if you have those carbohydrates and you have, uh, you've, and you're, you exercise and you've depleted the carbohydrates that are stored in your muscle, well, then when you eat the carbohydrates and they're transported, they can go and go into storage and replace those carbohydrates that were in storage. So if they can go into a place of short-term storage, we call that glycogen. When carbohydrates are stored in our uh, muscles or in our liver, um, it's called glycogen. Never get confused with the terminology. It's like saying, Ice, sorry, water, when you put it in the freezer, it's ice. Water and ice, are, you know, different words for the same thing in a different form. You know, water when it's frozen, it's called ice. Carbohydrate when it's stored in muscle, it's called glycogen. Okay, so let's simplify that one. So if we have depleted our glycogen in our muscles uh, and we eat carbohydrates at the right time, and they, they then they have somewhere to go. They can go and replenish our storage sites. The problem lies is, um, somebody's not active, pretty sedentary. Now they eat carbohydrates. They're not used, they, they, they don't need to be used for immediate energy and they don't need to go to replenish um, sto short-term storage sites. So therefore the body's like, fine, I'll take them into a long-term storage site, which is fat. If I get somebody coming to me as a client that wants to um, shift their body composition, but they're an endurance athlete or the triathlete or so I'm not going to put them on a super low carb diet. That makes no sense. You know, the carbs that they're eating have somewhere to go. They can go and be used for immediate energy and they can go to replace, re replenish the short term storage site, AKA glycogen. But if I get somebody that's very sedentary, then yeah, I'm going to be very wary of the carbs that I give them because they're not really needed, so no need for immediate use, no need for short-term storage. So they're going to go into long-term storage, which is fat. So carbohydrates, friend or foe, really depends on the environment that you are creating with your activity level. But even then, if I have somebody that works out a lot and they're active and they're trying to lose weight, then... Um, carbohydrates are a tool, but I'm going to be wary about how I use them. And what I'm going to do that is I'm going to time the carbohydrates correctly. I'm going to time them correctly so they have somewhere to go, so they have a purpose. I'm not just going to put carbohydrates in every meal because, you know, they're only needed at certain points. Carbohydrates, friend or foe, it really depends on you, your activity level, obviously your goal, but it's all about, is there somewhere for them to go? And is the timing correct? 